just to recap, I got the oil feed and the oil drain already routed, installed. The upper coolant block offs are all, and also on the pipe. The oil feed is connected and the rear drain is uh, also plumbed. So the only thing really I gotta do is just put the manifold in. But for today, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is try to reorientate these lines. Plus this line right here, I'm gonna see if I could like loosen it off the block. I believe there's a bolt right there connecting it. So loosen it and get it off so I can get some more wiggle room. And also to disconnect the DSC module and try to bring it down some. So I make some more room for where the turbo snout. So turbo should be about right here and the snout here. So you may could get away with using just a turbo guard, but a full filter, I doubt it's gonna be enough space. But the main thing I wanted to figure out is what I'm gonna do about this. So I'm just gonna disconnect these, loosen up these, and I believe there's like another bolt here holding this line. So I wanna see how flexible this is gonna be. Right. So got the module loose and I actually dropped it down a bit. So there's a lot more clearance out here for where the turbo should be. And I was also able to loosen the AC pipe over here. So it dropped down a little bit more and took it off this hinge right here. And pretty much I believe what I could do is just like, this main section I'm worried about is this uh, rubber part. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some heat treatment on that. And then I should be able to use the OEM heat shield and wrap it over a bit. And yeah, it'll still be enough room to hold a manifold and everything else in there. So yeah, so pretty much it's just a test mock-up right here. But I just gotta heat treat this one section right here and wrap it back over. And we should be good to go to start putting the manifold back in. So I have the front manifold now and yeah, I just put on the gaskets on there. So yeah, I'm gonna try to put it in right now. And I like to keep this bag on there when I'm putting on so I don't have my handprints and everything. So keep it all clean. So I had everything mocked up and I had both manifolds on, connected with a turbo on and everything. And I noticed when I was trying to put the mount on right here, it pretty much wouldn't be able to go in. So pretty much either the, the manifold got to get notched or the manifold got to get like shaved down some. So pretty much what I'm gonna use is a Sharpie marking around where it's hidden on both sides, the header and the manifold. So either I'm gonna shave it down some or notch the header or so. I'm gonna see what my options are. But yeah, I'm just gonna mark this out now. All right, so I have everything off and right here is pretty much where it's touching. So I just marked the whole circle around where it was. And either can you go ahead and like make an indentation right here, like notch it up or on this side of the mount, this is where it's hidden. So right here, most likely would have to get shaved down some like to where this hump is, like flatten it out some. So more than likely, I think I'm gonna try shave this down some, see how it fits. Or I think the best option is just like denting this in, warm it up and like knock it in a little bit. So I'm assuming something like how the stock not stock, but the aftermarket downpipe, they had to pretty much notch it off compared to how the regular um, IC and rear wheel drive version is just don't have this um, notch on the top. So I'm gonna try to do that and see which one works out better. So the one main important thing you gotta do is when you get the kit, you gotta go ahead and take off the top hat, take out the old spring, and put this spring inside. Or else if you wonder why you got such a little boost. So this the new one, or the other one that comes in the kit, just go ahead and put that one in. I think it's like a number 14. I already marked out where I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. So I'm gonna cut it right here where this line is. And more than likely, I'm gonna have to cut a little bit closer up to, to the right where the other squiggly line is. So yeah, just gonna make the first cut for the first left line and then 
check it and if it fits then I could just uh, leave it alone but if not I got I might have to cut a little bit closer up so I have a dumb two piece on right now so all I have to do is have this end right here weld it up and it'll go right across the axle and be able to um, jump out through the side. So yeah, once it's tightened up, it's look like it's hitting them out right now, but it's not. It's cause it's uh it's not really on on the thing. It's like loose. So once I tighten it up, it'll lift it up a little bit and it'll be off the mount. So I just gotta go ahead and mark where it's supposed to get welded together, and we'll be good to go. So I have the waste gate welded up and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pretty much test fit it. Hopefully all my cuts and angles and notes that I gave to the welder uh, translated well. So I'll go ahead and try, see if I can go ahead and stick it on. Alright, so I have the clamp on and everything is lined up. So it's all a little bit tight, but it fits. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go ahead and have to wrap the dump tube. So that way it could retain some heat inside of it and don't like radiate throughout the whole engine bay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get take it off, wrap it, and just pretty much check down at the bottom to make sure everything else is clearing up. All right, so I have the manifold in and it's secured up. So the only part that is a little bit close right now is right here by the axle. So it's too close to it and I'm pretty much, marked, I just marked it up to see where I need to like bend. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Is like bend it upwards and pretty much bend it out the way. Uh, Alright, so I pretty much got the coolant lines routed up and the only one I got left off is this one because there's still this big old cover that goes over here. So I just want to make sure that's pretty much the last thing I do. So that way I know that it fits correctly with the cover over it. So right now I'm just trying to go ahead and hook back up the charge pipe, reroute everything and install this uh, the RSF um, intercooler. So it's a 7.5. So it will pretty much do the job of doing this install. So I got, uh, pretty much I gotta go trim off all this stuff, make room for it, and yeah, got little brackets to make sure it fits correctly. So yeah, should be good to go. I have the inner cooler mocked up and in, and pretty much everything fits pretty good. So this is a manual car, so don't have that other cooler line to worry about uh, rerouting. So yeah, it was pretty much, I had to do nothing with none of these lines or nothing, just bring it up and good to go. So you can see on the back of the fan, this is what I had to do on this side. This is the driver's side. So this pretty much had to cut out here just to make room for this right here. All right, and back here is how the passenger side is. So pretty much cut that edge right there. So I'm going ahead and mounting this up right now and I realize I need to move, I pretty much moved this bracket over to this one. I had it on here before. So I put it here because it fit better. And I'm pretty much gonna go ahead and cut this up so that I could be able to wrap it around on right here on this bracket. So that way it doesn't like hit up on here and slowly grind this away. Sooner or later it will just make that part leak. So I'm just gonna put some protection on there, make sure it doesn't happen. And on the other side also, I'm gonna have to move this one over to here. So that way that it lines up better. Um, so this is how it is right now. So I got a little protection right here for it. And this will get mounted up to here. And then over here, same thing. Move this over and this will get mounted up to that right there and hold it in place. So I wanna get the coolant vent line uh, attached. So this is the OEM one except I took off the hard line part and just left this piece. So it's a little bit long. So I went ahead and mounted this up cause this whole part is gonna cover this whole thing. So when I did the measurement right here where this line is, that's pretty much how much I got to cut off. And pretty much this will flex in at a good angle 
where it will have like optimal flow still. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this piece off, mount this up, and then I could go ahead and put this back on. I have it shortened up and everything is running pretty smooth. I like the bends. So when I go ahead and put this over, everything flows good so yeah no obstructions or anything like that so we're good to go right here so i can go ahead and go ahead and put this back up